high beautiful people of the most high god all praises to the most high so this video is about the year of recompenses which is now and people at the nations and people who've been so in evil are going to reap what they sown so we know in isaiah 34 and 8 for it is the day of the lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of zion but this is just god wants you to know this is the year of recompenses you're reaping what you've sown for evil. Doesn't matter who you are. Ezekiel 9 and 10. As for me also, my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. Um, Job 4 and 8. Even, I, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So God wants you to know that this is the year of recompense, and he's recompensing the ways your ways upon your head. You're going to reap what you sow. Have you been repenting or have you been revenging? He's been using so much of his messengers to tell you to repent, to take away your sins for him to remember your sins and no more. Have you been repenting or have you been revenging? He even made me speak about that walking. Have you been revenging or have you been repenting? If you're repenting, God will show mercy on you. If you've been revenging, God is recompensing your way on your head because you never, you, you weren't repenting for him to wipe away your sins and remember your sins no more, for him to have mercy on you. He who covers their sins will not prosper, but who confess and forsakes them, God will show mercy to you. So have you been repenting or revenging? Because if you've been revenging and you haven't been repenting at all, then you have a recompense on your head. So even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Now Isaiah 59 and 18, according to their deeds, accordingly will he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay, recompense. And he wants you to know he's recompensing the nations for what they did to the children of Israel and the children of Judah. Um, Hebrews 10 and 30, for we know him that has said vengeance belongs unto me i will recompense says the lord and again the lord shall judge his people so if it's the year of vengeance and recompense we know that it's a two and one for it's the day of the lord's vengeance and the year of recompense so it's a two and one so you have to know god's vengeance and his recompense is a two in one. So according to their deeds, according, he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands, he will repay recompense. Hebrews 10 and 30, for we know him that has said, vengeance belongs unto me. I will recompense, says the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Ezekiel 11 and 21, but as for them whose heart walk after the heart of their detestable things and their abominations, I will recompense their way upon their own heads, says the Lord God. So if you walk after detestable things and abominations, God's are going to recompense your way on your head and the nations. We're going to read that. Ezekiel 23 and 49, and they shall recompense your lewdness. So if you've been lewd, um, I can't, I don't think I can, um, look that up while I'm doing this right now. Cause I didn't set it up that way. So you could look up the word lewdness. It's filthiness. It's nakedness. It's like sleeping around and it's, it's a manner of just not, not cleansy behavior sexually. And they shall recompense your lewdness upon you and you shall bear the sins of your idols. So you've been serving idols. You've been living a lewd life. And you shall know that I am the Lord God. God's going to recompense your lewdness upon you. Now, Ezekiel 25 and 17, And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Ezekiel 7 and 3 to Ezekiel 7 and 13. Okay, so Ezekiel... 7 and 3 to 13, we're going to read that now is the end come upon thee and I will send my anger upon thee and will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense upon thee all thine. My eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee and thy abomination shall be in the midst of thee and you shall know that I am the Lord. Oh, 
why did it do that? Forgive me, work of the enemy, I cancel you. Um, and my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, an evil, an, an evil and only evil, behold, is come, and an end is come, the end is come, it watch for thee, behold, it is come, the morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwells in the land, the time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I short, shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thy abominations. And my eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways, and thy abominations that are in the midst of thee, and you shall know that I am the Lord that smites. Behold the day, be behold the day, behold it is come. The morning is gone forth, the rod has blossomed, pride has budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. So why is God doing this? Because the pride of people, the violence of people, the wickedness of people, the detestable things, the abominations, the serving of idols, the lewdness. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness and none of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, people in secret societies, nor any of theirs, nothing that they have either. Neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draws near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon the whole multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to, the, to that which is sold, although they were yet alive. For the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return. Didn't God let me speak about talking to you guys that judgments affect all? When it rains, it falls on everybody. So when judgments fall, they fall and affect everyone. So this Ezekiel and 13 proves it. For the seller shall not return to that which is soul, although they were yet alive. For the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. Romans 12 and 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself. But rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will recompense I will repay, says the Lord. Now Isaiah sixty five and six Behold it is written before me, I will not keep silent, but will recompense even recompense into their bosom. Now Proverbs twenty and twenty two say not thou I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord, and he shall save thee. Now about the nations. Jeremiah 25 and 14, for many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also, and I will recompense them according to their deeds and according to their works of their own hands, what they did to the children of Israel and Judah. So those nations, God's going to recompense their way on their heads, right? Isaiah 35 and 4, say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not, behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Now, 1 Nephi 22 and 14. And every nation which shall war against the O house of Israel shall be turned one against another, and they shall fall into the pit which they have digged to ensnare the people of the Lord. And all that fight against Zion shall be destroyed, and the great whore who has perverted the right ways of the Lord, yeah, that great and abominable church shall tumble to the dust, and great shall be the fall of it. Now, Joel 3 and 4 to 7. All right? This is about what the nations did to the children of Israel, and God's recompensing their way on their head. That's why you see so many natural disasters. Yeah, and, and judgments upon their land. Lands that they stole. Lands that don't belong to them. And war and things on their lands that don't belong to them. Yeah, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidane, and all the coasts of Palestine, Palestine? Will you render me a recompense? If you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense on your own head? Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried it into your temples, my goodly pleasant things, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians, that you might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out, raise them 
out of the place where you have sold them and will return your recompense on your own head. Now is Jeremiah 50 and 28 to 29. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God and the vengeance of his temple. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape, recompense her according to her work, according to all that she has done do unto her. For she has been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Now Isaiah 51, I mean Jeremiah 51 and 11. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord has raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes for his devices against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. What's the temple of the Lord? The daughter of Jerusalem. To declare in, let's go back up in Jeremiah 50 and 28. To declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord, our God, the vengeance of his temple. Uh, Hosea, and he's going to recompense the wicked in the house in, of J if Israel, the children of Israel and Judah. He's going to punish them because the ones who haven't repented but are doing revenge in, the ones who won't stop doing witch work and doing evil and detestable things and abominations. Because that's why God says among his people, they're found wicked men and there's wicked women too. So these people, Hosea 12 and 2, the Lord has a controversy with Judah and will punish Jacob according to his ways, according to his doings, will he recompense him? So nobody is exempt from God's recompense. You get it? Now, Isaiah 65 and 5 to 7, he doesn't like this, which say, Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. The, these are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burns all the day. That's what his people do with teaching his word and, you know, they're better than this nation and that nation and they should be looking at people's heart and not the color of their skin and things like that. They're operating in many evil spirits and not from the Holy Spirit. All right. Behold, it is written before me. I will not keep silent, but I will recompense, even recompense in their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, because this is stuff they did in past times, says the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains. They still do it now. And blaspheme me upon the hills. This is why God's recompense, his judgments is coming forever. The whole touching the whole multitude. They burn incest to other gods. They blaspheme God on the hills. So he says, and blaspheme me upon the hills. Therefore, I will measure their former work into their bosom. Now, last precept, last but not least, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So if you've been repenting so God can have mercy on you and bloat out your sins and remember your sins no more, you have nothing to fear. If you haven't, then you know you're going to have a recompense on your head. Can you take back what you serve to others? Can you take back what you serve to God? Can you say, take back what you serve to his creation? Well, um, I think you should start repenting. Stay blessed.